Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNock1, and welcome back to part 6 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, the no man's land between our army and Tiangyong has been established. We regained this middle territory after knocking out Genzerig and replanting Tabo. So all in all, good foreign policy, I like it. Alright, Ayan has been steadily growing, we haven't faced any attacks from Ninet Tin, but I am wary. Uh, we can't... It is just a bad idea to dedicate resources and time of a yawn to protect itself, so hopefully we're just kind of preying on a non-attack. Um, our economy can't quite handle much of a, much more soldiers at the moment. It might not be a bad idea to get some soldiers out, though, because we can take out this nest, but another colonist, and then if we can, we might be able to move those soldiers up north and support a possible invasion of Tiangong. Taking out Tiangong early would be a huge victory for us. So, here's where we are. We finished the recycler in Janali, which means we now have lots and lots of production here. What do we spend on? I like the clinic. I think getting our unhealth even lower is never a bad idea. Especially when you're trying to add more cities. Let's go ahead and acquire this here paddock. We are working it after all. And call in the next turn. They keep standing off and standing on. Strange military policy. Alright, we'll just fire on them. Get a shot off with Sinister once. Will that level sub to veterancy? Perhaps. Maybe not. Two more experience needed. These guys are not quite veterans. Rough squad. Let's just move this guy in. Clone Echo is pretty dang... Uh, he has a lot of veterancy levels, but... I see two rangers, combat rover, and possible attack from Tiangong, so let's actually just back off. <laughs> let's not risk it. Let's let them come to us. This is definitely a no man's land, I don't want to really move into it. Fire back if you must, it's just free XP for me. Alright, so that's a little scary. Combat rover coming up. Uh, I don't want to lose any units actively what I would like to avoid. Um, let's get the veterancy here, and let's swap. So if they want to come for us, we'll be in a miasma tile, and that's just not the ideal situation for the enemy to be attacking us. We can also blast here. And that wiped out their ranger. Excellent. And that looks pretty nice. Alright. So we finished a trade convoy in Magan, let's just keep building them. We'll get an auto plant eventually, but trade convoys just seem a lot more important right now. So first off, uh, a trade route to Tabo would increase its outpost growth, but a trade route to any other city. Um, actually, I don't want to trade to Ayan, because that puts us through either aliens or the PAC army, and that's bad. I don't want the trade route to get wiped out. Let's go ahead and go trade with Janali. That'll give us five extra production, and make sure that trade our second trade convoy comes out in just two turns. So our trade route, uh, sorry, our roads to Janali have been finished, and our economy stabilized a little bit. Let's get this worker here to build us a farm here. It's always important to remember that you still need farms in your capital, especially in your capital. Your capital can can either be, you know, the gem of your empire or something that just is kind of pathetic because you don't, because you use it to feed the rest of your empire as opposed to just watch it grow. So I do have to remind what myself now and then, is yours. no, we're not doing open borders, For that it's important to keep your capital in tip-top shape. So she, she still wants two cities. Um, that's not happening, buddy. Oh, okay, they're doing a bit of a push. Let them try. Palatine drop down somewhere. Hopefully know where I wanted to put the city. Don't even see it. Alright, not a problem. They look like they want to push in a little bit, so let's let them collapse if they want to. Let's pull this guy here and let them attack a joint strike force. Uh, meanwhile, this is not scary to me. They only have access to one at a time. And our gunner here, the Dark Guard, to be able to blast him. And I believe they'll get veterancy on their next turn. Whereas their inglorious eagles here should be fine. Um, they are at least level 1. 
And after some attacks, they'll definitely be veterans. Let's just keep everything nice and fortified, nice and healthy. Guarantee the survival of all my units. What's ours is yours. And no, sir, that's For a price. Nope, not happening. I don't like this favor system, and I'm glad they're changing it in Rising Tide. Alright, so they are pushing in. They're collapsing whatever military units they spent onto us. And I'm glad they are, so we don't have to fight in the no man's land. Alright. So. This poses a bit of a threat. Uh, we have to kill this unit. This is an obvious, uh, you know, priority. So they can't hit our gunners. So let's focus all of our hind resources first. Things that are obvious choices because it's the only fire option. And then, we will consider options like this, for example. Between shooting on this combat rover, or firing on the lake. Fire on the lake might could do a lot more damage than just killing this guy. Um, so I'm actually considering that. Let's see where that takes us. Yeah, that looks like the best option to me, honestly. So it doesn't kill the unit, but it really seriously weakens it. We got a veterancy on Dark Guard, very good. And we can keep shooting on this combat rover. So I will keep the, these guys here. Um, the question is, do we want to move in and strike this combat rover with our marines? Um, it means we could face a counterattack from one, two, three combat rovers, but these are Clone Echo. They are veterans, and they will come out of this attack with a lot of power. It means that this combat rover won't actually be able to move in and hit any of our gunners, because it requires they're in the zone of control of the Raptor bug, and they'd move here, and they'd be out of movement. Um, Let's go ahead and do it. I like this. Oh, we didn't even kill it. Okay. Um, but that's that's really, really, really low health. I doubt they could actually kill a gunner on their own at this point. Let's see how that bears. Alright, so we did get our second trade route. Um, let's definitely send this to Tabo. Let's keep making trade convoys, though. I would like to send another to Janali and have it Go to Tabo and then make another and send it to Ayan and make it maybe doing some international trade for energy and science. Never bad. Okay, so we did finish our hill here. Let us certainly get this Resolin going. Oh, they are moving in on that Marine. Oh, they do not like him. Oh, that is a lot of damage! Okay, wow, they didn't kill him, though. Lone Echo survives! Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay, so, how to get him to safety? We will be able to swap him with the Iron Ravagers if we do this right. Um, so I think the right move is... Boom, boom, knock this guy out. And that removes the zone of control on... Rough Squad. Move Rough Squad in. Actually, no. Um, jeez. What to do? Can Sinister Ones even shoot? No. We want to pull this guy that way. Collapse Clone Echo in. And pull a Raptor Bug this way. Which takes the zone of control completely onto him. Um, I th I'm confident that this Raptor Bug will be able to survive anything like that. Alright, so then let's get Clone Echo healing, and, you know, we might be able to... We can definitely kill this combat rover now. It was a good move on the enemy's part, but it didn't get the job done, so... Didn't kill us. Alright, so we should be able to actually move this guy here. It's not a bad spot for him, um, and we can definitely fire on combat rovers in the future if we need to. Alrighty, so Ayan has finished the Vivarium. Let's go ahead and grab the lab. Tons of science, tons of good. Alright, clinic finished in Janali. Once again, let's grab a Vivarium. I want rapid, rapid growth. What did we get? Our worker, okay. Let's go ahead and build paddocks. And next turn. I'm glad we brought this on health down. Just five. And looks like they can't do much to us. We did that well, and 
once our clone Echo is at uh, expert level veterancy, he really will be a just something to fear, especially once we hit uh, purity level six, which will be a while, but you know, something to look forward to. Alrighty, so let's definitely blast this guy. He is a high priority. Anything that could take out a possible unit is a high priority target. And we can definitely eat it with the raptor bug. It looks like a safe bet. And what we're doing basically here is we're just kind of like eating up the industrial complex of the PAC. If they're building military units, they don't have much to waste on anything else. Fine by me. We got another trade convoy done, and let's build yet one more. Final one. So this one, let's change the origin of the city to... Let's go to... Ayan first. We'll get the international trader out of first. And then we'll get one from Janelle to Tabo. So we finished the paddock here. Very good. Yet another paddock up. And... What is the next best option? Probably one more on this chitin. It's another excellent tile. Let's definitely get it going. Ayan has grown excellent, up to 4 population. And this combat rover has not moved, so let's go ahead and just finish him off. I was hoping we wouldn't just sink him so we could actually get 2 shots in. Oh well, that's good enough. And let's get this grab bug back over here to the miasma so he can heal. And get our gunner and just chill. I like this no man's land we've set up. Alright, so here's our trade route in Ion. We're going to use this for international stuff. Um, if we trade with Jimbuba, this looks like a fairly safe trade route. And will yield us a lot of science and energy. But Freeland honestly looks like a better option. Um, it gives them fewer resources, which is good. We don't want to overpower one of our neighbors. It's given too much strength. So let's go ahead and do that. It's good science for us. Make sure we get all of our techs just that much quicker. Very useful in mid-game. Let's get our paddocks rolling. Uh, that looks good to me. Fortify these guys. Alrighty. He is happy that we're trading with him. Now for most AI, I, I might take the little skeptic. But you know, he is Hutama. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he really is happy that we're trading with him. So that's our last trade art done. Let's actually go ahead and build an auto plant now. Uh, we could start building soldiers, but geez, the auto plant will help us build them a lot faster. So, and it's a great investment in the long run. Let's get our worker to build us. Ah, where do we want this worker? Hmm. We could acquire another hill. Definitely help our capital out. Um. Alright, let's acquire this hill. Why not? Let's go ahead and build a mine on that. And our raptor bug can heal. Last trade convoy, send it to Janali. Fortify these guys, and next turn, sir. Clone Echo is almost at full health, very good to see. One more turn on that, and that will be a near expert level squad. We finished our Vivarium and Janali, very good. Um, so, we're making good growth pace here. Let's go ahead and grab the lab, and that will bring us up to some modern science. Okay, so the trade route here, I could go to Ayan again, dangerous, not going to do it. Let's instead go to Tavo and make sure Tavo grows up quite strong, quite quick. We've battled our unhealth pretty well. That said, the addition of Tavo is going to give us some new unhealth challenges. But we will be finishing a uh, affinity quest. I'm interested to see what that's going to do. Let's get our marine just for... Actually, no, this is Klonecko. Let's move him up. While we're at it, we can move all these guys up a little bit. As long as we don't cross into that no man's land zone. The other thing about coming very close to the AI is... Yeah, why not? Is that they tend to uh, add a ton of combat strength to cities that you have set up really close to. Do you change the steps oh, it gave us... Alright. 
or does the dance of life change your step? The, it, the game might think we're playing towards harmony and give me harmony points. That said, it did give us science as well, so if I can't play can, too much. Touch a seed worm as it moves by. That will teach you all you need to know about the insignificance of humanity. Right, so that's not bad. I mean, now we just take less damage in Miasma. Um, yeah, not that bad. Uh, let's move this guy away from that siege worm. You know, we could open fire on the siege worm, but... You know what? I'll just set up just in case they decide to do something. If the siege worm stays here or something, we could go boom, 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 boom and light him up. We did get armor unlocked. Very good. I liked flanking when playing against AI and this one when playing against players. So this is the AI, so flanking it is. Alright, Ayan has finished its lab. What to do now? Um, it now has four people, so there's two health not being dealt with there. Armor Lab is not a bad investment, considering we'll get it around the same time that it grows to five. And that'll keep our unhealth under check. Alternatively, go auto plant for long term production, the alien preserve for some good culture, um, or the network for additional science. I'm going to go with, or you know, the thorium reactor for just more energy to the economy. What about the Pharma Lab? I like that. I, I like rapid growth and I like being able to support it. Um, so. God, these tiles are so good. Two food, one production, three energy, one science, one culture. Let's go ahead and improve this resolution as well. Tavo is done, so we can grab a trade depot here. Shouldn't all of our trade routes have reset? Um, yeah, they should have, and, and they have. Alright, so this trade to Janali, uh, sorry, to Tavo from Janali, gives Janali tons of stuff. More production than you could dream. Uh, this is because in this game, since the last patch on trade routes, um, trading to the smallest cities possible gives you huge yields. Like, look at this. Eight production and two food in Magan. That is crazy. That means we're getting our auto plant in just three turns! Holy heck! Yes, 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 we're getting 12 production from trade routes. Nutty. Okay, we finished genetic design. Let's grab alien genetics. Let's tell the game, hey, we are actually going for purity. You know what? Purity points is pretty good, too. 18 points. That's at least a level and a half. Alright, so they did move this uh, combat rover up. So, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to shoot it. You know, we could probably even hit it too, as long as we don't take too, too much damage. So let's go ahead and smack it one more time. With a unit we know doesn't need all that health. Um, and then we can hit it here too. Take minimum damage on the unit we want to make sure it gets its next veterancy. Very good. How much more XP? Just four more XP, and Clone Echo will be an expert. I love me some expert level units. All right, AC fronting another military. That oh my goodness, that is that is that is bad. Oh my golly gee willikers, Mister. All right, uh, we're gonna need to move on to the ocean to escape. We're not losing our sinister ones. Um. Jesus, Raptor, but can't actually escape to the ocean. So, we're, we might just... Maybe run away to this Miasma. Alright, let's think this through. Um, Clone Echo needs to move to... This whole force needs to just kind of pivot a little bit. Um, so, let's pivot. Move this down. Move this there. Move Clone Echo that away. And move this thing out into the miasma. And tell it to alert. Okay, so that's good. We gave that siege room some space. Hopefully it respects our decision to give it space. And they want to sell everything we own. Okay, so no. So that typically means they built up a bit of an army. Oh, goodness. No, Mr. Raptor Bug. What are they doing to you? Such mean people. Please. Okay. Thank you for moving towards them. Alrighty. So let's put our uh, Raptor Bug into alert. He will heal up quite a fair amount. Put 270. And he should make it. He should be fine. Let's move our gunners back onto land. And keep Clone Echo in healing mode. They're going to level up if they shoot them one more time. So I'm fine there. We can move our gunners back. 
I really don't want to lose that raptor bug. But, uh, I mean, the thing is about raptor bugs is, you know, its value was important when we had it. I'm glad we got it, but it will not sustain its value into the late game. So, right now it's just kind of a unit on the border for us. Alright, the Pharma Lab is not a bad option here also. Keep our unhealth under check. Well, they are they are coming for him though. It's a good thing we have that extra healing. Yes! Yes! Siege Room, do it! Yeah! Siege Room don't care, man. Thank you, Siege Worm. Alright, can we get out? We can't. So we're just basically submitted to the judgment of the Siege Worm. If he wants to go in and kill their Comet Rover, he will. If he wants to kill our Raptor Bug, he will. We're fairly harmony. We've been nice to the aliens. We haven't shot you once. Don't hurt us. Come now. Alright, Clone Echo is officially an expert. So Clone Echo ain't to be effed with. Basically. They're at maximum level. 30% um, additional combat to everything, and that's just going to make them stronger and stronger as they go into late game. We now have access to attack jets. Uh, this is not a bad idea. Uh, we could build them, and it could definitely help us clear out aliens down here, as well as push down with some soldiers. So that's what I'm thinking about right now, is getting a city down here very quickly needs to be a priority. Um, armor is not a bad way to do that, and Purity's armor units will only get better as the game goes into later uh, late game. That said, our marines are the first thing to upgrade next, so we might as well grab them. Let's get some additional marines up. They really are subject to the judgment of that siege room right now, though. Will he come for the foolish human who he just killed, or will he come for his alien brethren? Please make the right choice, Mr. Siege Worm. He chose to spare us. Uh, we still can't get out, though, so we are, again, subject to his all-powerful will. <laughs> uh, our mine here is completed, alrighty. What to do? You could get a generator over here, it's not a bad idea, or another farm right there. Oh, okay, this Xenomass is done, so... We don't actually have the tech for building that, so we'll get that next, now that at least one city can utilize it. Please, Mr. Siege Worm, we've done nothing but good by you. Oh, they are moving on Clone Echo. Okay, uh, that's a little worrisome. Not so bad, though. Um, if I heal them, they will just have 66 health. They should be fine. Because honestly, they're only going to get hit by this unit and the Ranger again. And let's just do some damage to both. So we didn't sink him in one shot, but you know. Oh well. Do some good damage to this guy. Keep our guy nice and fortified. Should be alright. And the Siege Room has decided to spare us so far. Um, let's keep building marines. I'm going to piss the aliens off soon, but I'd like to get my guy out before that. They finished the Pharma Lab in Janali. Very good. Let's get a Thorium Reactor. Um, actually, no. Alien Preserve. I want Culture. Please, Mr. Siege Worm, spare us. We have done nothing but good by you so far. One day aliens will be our enemies, certainly, but... Today is not that day. Spare us, sir. They are firing on the siege room. Yes. Yes! Eat them! And the raptor bug has been spared. In fact, he might have been even saved by the siege room. Let's go ahead and grab network data links. This is important as we get more cities. Alternatively, we could go inter interdependence network and get additional, you know, help. But I really do think these are very important as you gain more and more cities. Okay. Pharma lab done. All right. So what is next for Ayan? I am not opposed to the auto plan here. Production is going to be something that... What 
the hell? Well, at any rate, time for the episode is up. Uh, let's make a quick decision. Screw it, let's go. Alien Preserve. But until next time, guys, will we be able to take out these aliens? How will this continued prolonged war on the border go? Will we continue to kind of make leaps and small victories? Will this siege room help us assault Tiangong? I don't know. Let's find out next time. But until then, guys, take care.